Greetings in the name of the Imperial Majesty Ja Rastafari, King Selassie the First, Emperor of Ethiopia, Giant King. It's I, Emmanuel, again, bringing you another dish today, vegan dish. It's actually my personal favourite. It's quite simple. It's just brown lentil curry with cashew nuts, brown rice, carrot salad. So I'm going to take you over to the ingredients as usual. Um, take you through preparation method cooking and then show you the eventual dish when it's finished and then on a plate so I've got a pot over here with some palm oil in it ready to fry the onions and garlic once they've been peeled um, let's pop there for the rice, having brown rice today. So, in here, I've got a kilo of brown lentils that I've soaked overnight and more. Um, when I cook, I cook for a lot more than I need to, so I freeze portions. So when I'm working during the week, I don't have to cook or if I entertain somebody then I've got a portion ready in a hurry so green lentils some cashew nuts in that jar there here's the brown rice some black pepper in this jar curry powder in this jar got a couple of onions and some garlic and a few vegan stock cubes there. So I'm going to peel the onions and the garlic, start frying those and bring, bring you back in. Yeah, that's the power. So while I do some preparation today, i.e. peel the onions, the garlic and get these stock cubes ready, I'm just going to speak to you a bit further on the subject I broached a couple of videos ago about the church and also explain why I chose Nyabingi as my Rastafari order which is the highest Rastafari order possible so I'm just going to give my hands a rinse before I start peeling so as I said previously I was brought up a Catholic both my parents were Catholic and my mum took me to church regularly right up until I think I was about 12, 11 or 12 um, and the reason that I left the church and told my mum that I didn't want to go anymore was one day she took me to the church hall it was actually St. Andrew's Church Hall in Thornton Heath, Croydon. St. Andrew's being our local church. And it was for a private function that was happening in the hall. I don't know the, the particular occasion, but it was a private function anyway. So my mum was invited and she took me along. So when I went to the function, I was actually quite bemused to see the priests that I saw every week in the church in, at this private function. And they were all drinking alcohol and they were smoking cigarettes, one of them was smoking a cigar they were all red in their face from drinking as people that drink get and it suddenly occurred to me that if these people set themselves apart from everyday people and hold themselves up as examples to other people and for other people to follow them in how they live then how can they live 
the, in the same way as the people that are expected to follow them. To me that made no sense at all. Having read the Bible and what have you, I always thought and had the perception that anybody who stood up as an example to others couldn't live in the same way as others and had to be much more spiritual in thought and especially in liberty. So, having seen the priests behave just like everybody else in the church hall, I was very dismayed and consequently told my mum that I didn't want to go to church anymore. Now, that was the kind of youngster I was. Um, I was very forward, I was very insightful, and as far as I'm concerned, I knew what was right and what was wrong. So I took that decision. My mum, Jablesa, respected my decision, and I didn't go to church again. Now, when Rastafari called me and I answered the call, I bore all this in mind and I decided that when I joined Rastafari that I would, I would choose the highest level and form of Rastafari so as not to be hypocritical in sight as I saw these priests to be because I'm well aware that the other houses of Rastafari live differently to Nyabingi some of which mentioning no names live the same as ordinary people I've been to dances um, of a particular house of Rastafari where the Union Jack is flown, the picture of the Queen is there, and the people inside are drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, and mixing with all manner of people. For me, Rastafari is a celebration of blackness. It's a very serious order and is centered around our father, Ja Rastafari. So having seen the way that these people were living in terms of Rastafari, I decided that I would choose the strictest form of Rastafari, which is Nyabingi, and hence I am a Nyabingi today. So I've just peeled the onions and I've just put them into the pan with the palm oil. I'm going to peel the garlic and then after I've done that I'll bring you in. So the point of what I'm trying to say, in case I'm not making myself clear, is that for me, if you expect to be taken seriously as any entity, then you have to show yourself living and behaving in a way which is above the norm. Ja, Rastafari. So I've got a large onion and a small onion frying in the palm oil here and I've chopped about seven cloves of garlic which I'm going to add to the onions and I've got some stock cubes and the other ingredients at the ready there. Having said what I said regarding faiths and how if you expect to be taken seriously in a faith you should live differently to the norm. Of course, none of that matters 
if your heart isn't clean. So, in that way, somebody who does live normally as everybody else in society, but has a clean heart and doesn't work evil, is obviously preferable to one who claims to be of a clean heart, lives to a strict doctrine, but isn't of a clean heart. But my point was that if you are of a clean heart and you wish to stand up and represent something as great as a faith, or in my case a liberty Rastafari, then you have to separate yourself and live in a higher way to the rest of society. Now, the onions and garlic are frying nicely and once ready I'm going to add some clean water, i.e. boiled water, and add the lentils which I'm in the process of washing and then hard boil them for a good while um, until they're soft and ready, adding water as and when required and then, and only then, will I add the condiments, the cashew nuts and so on. Um, just to go back to what I was saying as well, you can live in a higher way to other people's and you will still won't be taken seriously. Um, especially, I think, as a Rasta man. I don't think many people take Rastafari seriously. Um, and that's both black and white people. They think it's a bit of a joke that we just smoke weed and listen to reggae music and that's it, basically. So, fundamentally, it's not important whether or not people take you seriously. Um, live in an upful way with a doctrine, adhere to that doctrine, and then at least you'll be able to take yourself seriously, and your father will definitely take you seriously. King Selassie the first, Ja Rastafari. So I've added <coughs> the lentils and clean water to the pot, and I'm hard boiling that now. I'm just going to put a lid on it. So I'm going to wash some rice and put it in the pot and get that ready. And then we're just waiting, basically, for the lentils to soften enough to add the condiments and the cashew nuts. Cost of this dish, very economical. I've used a large and a small onion, about seven cloves of garlic. I'll use a handful of cashew nuts, a um, couple of mugs of rice, and a kilo of lentils, some black pepper, some curry powder, and three vegan stock cubes. So I'd say the cost of this one a fiver, if that. And I'm making a kilo, so that will serve as, as many as 12 people, in my experience. So good, economical, nourishing, sustaining vegan food. My favourite. Ja, Rastafari. The lentils are soft now and I've hard boiled them for about half an hour plus. Um, there's a carrot salad which I made yesterday so I'm going to be having that with it today. So I'm going to add the condiments now and then it's more or less ready and just waiting for rice. Okay, so to the lentils I'm going to add a handful of cashew nuts. Three vegan stock cubes. About half a tablespoon of black pepper. Actually, make that a quarter. A 
then curry powder according to how you like it, heat tablespoon for me and a half just going to add some more water to that obviously the peas have reduced it so just add some more water to that give it a good stir And that's your green lentil and cashew nut curry ready to be served with rice, which I will show you on a plate once the rice is cooked. Give all the praises to the Most High Jah Rastafari for all talent and all wisdom and all understanding. Captain Celestia Rastafari. Okay, so here we have the completed dish, my favourite, green lentil curry with cashew nuts and brown rice and a carrot salad, two good portions there and just to quickly take it over to the pot and so I'm going to freeze the rest of this for the family and for whenever or just little single portions from when I come in from work and stuff. As always, my father presides over I, I tell table. Ja, Rastafari, Slossiai.